And as Evan mentioned, nearly 60 GOP members of the House signed a letter this week calling for border security to be a part of the negotiations to raise the debt ceiling. Talks are currently paused as the deadline to avoid default nears. We are joined now by one of the House representatives who signed that letter sent to President Biden and congressional leadership. Congressman John Rose from Tennessee. Congressman, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me on tonight. It's a pleasure to be with you. It certainly is a pleasure for us. So wanted to clarify, is this letter an ultimatum, meaning you won't sign on to any agreement to raise the debt ceiling that does not include a border security plan? I don't think so at all. I think the members who signed are saying if we really want to get control over this nation's spending, which has, of course, led to the debt ceiling uh, debacle that we're facing right now, then we ought to look at every available avenue and certainly the spending that the country is incurring to deal with the flood of illegal immigrants that have been encouraged to come here by President Biden is a big part of the problem. We ought to put that on the table. That ought to be part of the discussion. Okay, now I certainly uh, will not dispute that we have a crisis at the border. But why send this letter now, roughly two weeks out from the deadline for default? Is that not too late in the game? Well, I don't think so. The negotiations just begun, unfortunately, because the, the president refused for almost 100 days to sit down with, uh, with uh, Speaker McCarthy to pursue the discussion about how to avert this uh, disaster that default would be. And unfortunately, the president has pushed back. And so discussions having begun, we thought it was good to put another arrow in the quiver for uh, Speaker McCarthy as he has these discussions, trying to look for ways that maybe we can find common ground. So do you think it's a good sign that President Biden is coming back to the negotiating table after previously saying he just wanted a clean debt ceiling hike? He had said that multiple times before. I do think it's a good sign. It's late in the game. You know, the, the House Republicans, the House itself, through the votes uh, that we took on the Limit Save Grow Act, we've gotten our homework done. Uh, it appears that the homework is due on January 1st. The president had it, hadn't started working on his homework. The Senate has refused to even take up the issue. And so, uh, you know, perhaps the answer is that the president should just copy our homework and submit that as uh, final work. Well, are you concerned at all about the public laying blame on Republicans if the negotiations fail and the U.S. defaults on its debt? It doesn't sound like that's necessarily going to happen. But even if these talks get even more delayed. Well, I am not. I think if there is a default here, it will be clearly on the shoulders of the president and the Senate for failing to take this issue seriously and to take it up. The House has passed a way forward. The Limit Save Grow Act extends the debt limit. Uh, does so in a reasonable, responsible, and sensible manner. And and so we've done our work, and it's really uh, the, the ball is in the court of the president. If the markets are roiled, if, uh, if Americans are worried about the benefits that might be impacted if the country defaults, that's all on President Biden at this point. If this is a default, it will be a Democrat-led default. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.